Oh, here we go. We've got something. Something from coal. It's fire based. Gunpowder. Huh. Then I'm guessing Fractus. But doesn't Fractus exist elsewhere, like in cobblestone? There we go, yeah. I want I want, I just want to use the cobblestone. Oh, there's more. Ah, exchange stuff. The permutatio. Permutatio. Which is in silver. We need more silver. Silver. Oh! Oh! I have to go all the way downstairs for more silver. Right, let's, let's pick up a load of other things. But silver looks like it's... Anything we've got a lot of, we could probably just do with... Well, just bringing a load up. Because I've got the storage now. I was gonna, I was gonna call it quits for this episode as well. <laughs> um, um, let's let's get a bit more copper down there as well. Iron, it's not gonna hurt to have more iron, and that that chalice thing, that that's got to be good. And refined iron, why not? Okay, cool. It's not gonna hurt to have a bit of tin as well. I know I can transmute tin, but you know what it's like. You know what it's like. You know of what I speak. Still need to put a pane in that window. It is still a little drafty. It's mostly alright, you know. It's not, um... <laughs> Dwarf was complaining about the draft. It's actually because they were drafted into the military rather than it being a drafty doorway. <laughs> uh, well, draft! I mean, when you think of the word draft... Personally, I don't think of being forcibly recruited into the military. It's not something we have in this country. Um, I don't know, there's still a few countries that do it, and some that say, you know, you've got to do a minimum of X years, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, when I hear of draft, I, I don't really think of, <laughs> of, of, of a draft, of, of, of the draft into the military. Obviously, we did do it in the war, but, you know. Um, we're in the war. <laughs> There we go. Gunpowder. Well, shit. What have we, um... Oh, oh it's an extension out of that. Whoa, so it, it, there's a hell of a lot of hidden... Res oh, no. You have discovered an alternative source of gunpowder. No more hunting creepers for this explosive substances. Substances. So basically I can just make gunpowder out of fire and fractus. Hey, that's pretty good. That's that's a noble reese. Well, it's not noble. Jeez. Um, I've got to found something already. Um. So something metal related. Well, is it is it a transmutation one? Yes, it bloody is. Um. What metals are there left? Wait, I suppose it doesn't technically um doesn't necessarily have to because I don't have to necessarily find that metal. I just need to find something with it's definitely a metal transmutation thing. I've gotten all of the metals that I can think of. Oh, the water thing. It's because there's a lot of water nearby, so there's a bonus. Bit of wood, maybe? Okay, I'm going to go and have a look at what metals I've got. <coughs> I know, I know, I know. It's a bit tiresome, isn't it? Now, it's not going to be anything that um, that's from another mod pack. Almost certainly not, anyway. Um, bronze? 
It might be bronze. But that wouldn't make a massive amount of sense. Could be refined iron, but I, I, I sort of made it from refined iron, so I, I, I didn't think that it would necessarily have picked that. Let's let's take a load of eggs up because of the meat, and let's take all the zombie brains and this wool. I can't. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna have a little. It's, it's good. I'm getting the research done. This is this is. This makes me a happy mage. Research is, is one of those things, you know, when you when you tire of, of killing things and blowing things up, then sitting in a study and doing research and trying to figure out the, the mysteries of, 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 of stuff and, and ting. It, it, there's a certain purity to it, do you know what I mean? A certain purity. Slightly frustrating when you um, can't figure out what component, what ingredient you're missing. No. But I will figure it out. Even if I have to use up lots and lots of um, of materials to do it. Wow, this really is a tricky one, actually, isn't it? Well, this will get rid of a lot of things. There we go. It's definitely none of that. Is is that is that dim and out? It wasn't. No. The apple-y thing. No. What are you? Thormium. Thormium. What the hell's thormium? Thorm it's like a metal, a magical metal. Th so that means, would I need one of these weird things? You know what I mean? Like, not not that, but um, like that one, that purpley one thing. Am I going to need some... Kind of, I'm not going to use my thermonomicon. That would be, uh, that'd be slightly foolish. Hmm. Well, hang on. You have found a way to infuse and transform base metals with raw magical energy. So it's definitely magical of some sort. <clears throat> I don't particularly want to use shards, but they've got a lot of the, the wand stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I don't want to do it, but... You know what it's like. Now that I've got this research that's kind of available, I want to I wanna get it done now. Gonna get you done. Cursory. I don't want to consume. I'm getting a bonus. I don't know how, but I am. It is. I think it used one up as well. Oh, I don't want to use it up. I'm getting a bonus, yeah, but I don't particularly want to use up these shards, but I just need to go on an adventure and Gain more. Oh, yes! Look at that, just as I ran out. You have found a way to infuse and blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, I have. Oh, it's that! Awesome! And now I've got an idea for that, which probably involves Thormium. So. <laughs> God, I, I am just. Honestly, this is actually one of the. It is, it is an exciting mod, 
you know our industry craft I love industry craft because it's a clever mod and it's fun there's something exciting about this one. Oh, but I need loads of that stuff to make that stuff rules of infusing base metals with raw magical energy harder than iron with the ability to accept enchantments beyond that which iron is normally capable of metals such as many applications blah 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 of crafting more advanced so we used to craft tools armor and crafting we're using normal recipes so I need something that's got this stuff in this precan precantesio candatio pre precandatio oh, I don't know pig Latin is not my um it's not my um strong suit so so I need and that weird so I still need to unlock those two weird things but that that looks like it's got stone in it so would the research involve stone I assume it would I'm doing it again I'm going well look at that I've got something I've got something come on that's it. no I didn't say anything I don't know what I don't know what I'm researching come on there we go so I've got rock um, magical building blocks. That it is that, isn't it? It is that, which means I'm gonna have to use up magically stuff. So there's no way of me telling what else is needed by the recipe, other than the logical one of. Um, I need. I need more shards anyway. So yeah. Okay, good. Good. Now now go away. Don't don't use up any more. Still Wow, you need a lot more stuff. Okay, let's just um get lots of different things. See maybe uh, oh yeah here we go. So, there's loads of extra stuff. What about this? No. No. I, the way I see it, if it's a magical building block, then maybe it requires other... Oh, that was quite lucky of me. Oh! Create construct work. So I need the, the anvil, which which I don't actually know what contains that. Um, it's a complicated recipe. Combine stone, wood, and metals to create building materials suitable for the crafting of mystical objects and constructs. Just need fabrico to create, construct, and work. Could be a simple case of something silly like a workbench. Do you know what I mean? Well, I've got enough. Um, Wood to spare. No. Um, oh, that's not a bloody work. But I'm, I'm so used to building chests and not workbenches. I don't even know what. It, yes. Excellent. Let's make a lot of workbenches. That's probably enough. Oh God, it might not be. You know. There's something that's giving me a bonus. There we go. Done. <laughs> I love this. I like this mod. Wow, that was possibly one of the more complicated recipes, but I'm getting familiar with the mod. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm getting, a, getting a taste for it, you know, getting a taste for it. Still need to get that bloody thing, um, and then that will unlock that. So I've kind of gone the weird way round. Oh, okay. So stone. So I need on the wor arcane work table. It needs magic. Some of these thormiums. I could do with making some thormiums, but I need that. Oh, hang on, there's more. Ah, thormium swords, thormium pickaxes, normal sort of stuff. Oh, uh, that looks 
slightly evil. Pretty cool though, pretty cool looking. Damn expensive to produce, it better be good. It says better than iron, it doesn't say better than diamond. But that uses four of that stuff. I'd have to find a source of that that's not, I mean those shards. Which is potentially not that bloody easy. And I still need to find water shards for that. So anyway, find a way to merge the strength of stone and resilience of thumium. The result is a block quite resilient to daily wear and tear. More importantly, these arcane stone blocks are perfectly suited for the creation of magical constructs and structures, including beacon bases. Oh, they, they, they were quite new, the beacons, weren't they, in Minecraft? The lattice of thumium that forms the core of this block allows it to be transformed into a myriad of configurations. We also have discovered a technique of engraving and enchanting wood, allowing it to be used for similar purposes. Ooh! Very nice! So, any old, um, any old wood, any old wood, any, any, any old wood. That's actual logs, though. I don't actually have logs. I want to make some magic wood, but... Oh, what the hell, I've got time. I'm going to make some magical wood. Magical wood. Magical wood. I'm going to create some magical wood all day long. Well, not all day long, because it's night now, but, you know, you... you you can kind of get behind the um, the idea. And these are more those silly rubber trees. There's, there's a silly Oh, I shot myself. <laughs> uh, but actually, surely the mining laser is going to be pretty good for this as well. Yeah, sort of. I think it's probably better for me to use the chainsaw, in all fairness. Might as well grab some rubber tree saplings if they're dropping. Don't need any of this rubbish. Actually, how are saplings as far as researchy materials go? There I am chucking stuff away. So they've got leafiness going on in them. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, I'm not complaining. You know, if there's something that's... Um, Got good research value. I'm like, a, yeah, I'm like a field mage collecting ingredients and, and stuff for the not the potions, but you know what I mean. Now, are these actually got anything? Oh, I've got corn kernel, flax seeds, more of that cattail stuff. I don't know why I'm shooting that. There's there's bumps. I didn't like them. Um. The rubber trees are doing quite well. Okay. Yes. 
arcane wood. I'm going to make some arcane wood. That's what I'm going to do. Make the arcane wood. We've got, of course, yes. Drippy ceiling, drippy ceiling. Why won't you stay dry? Ah! I went in my eye! That's the thing. Yeah. Horrible water that's dripped through rock. Probably full of minerals, actually. I don't know why I've brought all these things up here with me. I don't know, see. I don't know what half this crap's for. Okay, so, let me check the... Um, let's put all these in here, because they're useful for research. And the seeds are a little bit useful for research, but I'm not I'm not gonna not gonna leave them there. Uh, okay, right. So what does the Thermonomicon say? It says lots and lots of logs. And then put the wand in I'm guessing. Here we go, look at that. Oh, and it's got magicalness in it. I was hoping for that. I was hoping for that. Because that is a source of magicaliness. It's a source of magic. Oh, I can't mix and match, though. Actually, then again, this is rubber wood. So, it, it, well, firstly, you might not be able to mix things, but secondly, it might... Okay, so rubber wood isn't counted, which is strange because... Can you cook it or something and make it better? Um, four, four of that stuff and eight metal. There's four there. Oh, I can make a one, a one block of that stuff. It's probably the most inefficient way of doing it. And then an eight of that. So, if I chuck... Let me get me one back. If I lob in there... Um, in fact, while I've got the tins out, let me numb a little. Um, what I can do is, let me double check the recipe. Eight metal, metalum, and precantatio, and precantatio, precantatio, and metalum. I don't know why I'm putting on a, like a, sort of really vague Italian accent with that. I don't know. Um, I suppose Italy's where it all started, isn't it? Or Latin. Um, anyway. So yes. So, in theory, I put one block of iron in there. And these wood blocks... And then wave the wand. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Thermium. And that actually has even more magic in it. So in many ways, that's a way of multiplying the magic. In fact, that is a way of multiplying the magic. You put four bars of that in, and you can get more out. As long as you put... Yeah, if you put four bars of thermium in, and one bar of iron in, in theory, you could get five bars of thermium out. And there wouldn't even be a drop of wastage. That's awesome. Uh, I'm enjoying this greatly, as you've probably realised. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that, though. That's um, awesome, though. So once I've got four bars of thermium, I'm made. And all I need to do is get a load of logs to do that. Awesome. I'm really happy with that. Okay. Okay, yes. I've got myself sorted. Um, takes up a lot of magic, but I'm glad that currently recharges now. Okay, right. So, God, that's... Um, I've had a long session. I've done like five episodes in one go. So I've done like episodes 51, 52, 53, 54, and now 55, all in one session. Oh, I've been a busy mage. Oh... Goodness, I ache. I probably could do with having a bit of a stretch now. So, um, well, until next time, uh, bid you all farewell and uh, cheerio.